how to edit individual product pages on Wix website 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. Now, I bring you back with this video. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a whole journey and showing you how you can edit individual pages on your Wix website in your Wix portfolio to uh, you know individually give it style individually give it uh, you know different products to work with and you know just the whole individual general outcome now once you've gotten a grasp of what we're doing over here what we are going to do from here or what we're going to be starting to do from here is we're going to go straight into our you know design site to actually start designing the pages so i'm going to come into design site over here and once you come over to design side, it's going to take you into your actual Wix editor, into your Wix designer. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that for me. Now, when it loads in into your actual websites, what you're going to want to do from here is you are going to get a certain general idea of how the marketing and every other scheme of marketing actually works. So if, you know, it confuses you and if it, uh, you know, gives you a different idea, uh, according to you know changing products and stuff don't worry it's pretty simple first of all what you're going to do is you're going to go on pages and menu and you're going to add a page okay now once you go and add a page obviously you're going to go in the general pages and in your general page or your basic layout pages you're going to choose your products page now if that isn't available over here what you can simply do is you're going to click on blank page and uh, you're going to call this your product page okay once we do that click on done and you know you've created your page over here now once your product pages are created from there you know you're pretty much set to go because uh, here what you are gonna want to do is you are gonna go ahead and start adding the different products and uh, start individually adding the different designs to those products now let's say we have a product page over here and I want to add my own product. Now to add my own product, what we're going to do is uh, you can actually go ahead and add different widgets and apps into your website if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and write Wix products over here. Okay. And that should give you the general Wix products that you can add for yourself. But in the case that uh, you don't get that over here, you can actually go into your business section where you can actually add things from your portfolio of products and a whole lot more so it gives you a pretty basic and general idea of how these things work and it helps you a lot to um, you know mess around with and uh, get a general idea of, if you know what i mean now obviously if you have a product that you want to add and you don't have the sections to add that obviously you have all these sections over here that are going to help you to add your products now you know these are all your saved sections in these sections you're going to get the general product ideas or again you can come up to your wix market and in your market section you know you have sell online and in sell online you know you get all the product sections over here um where you can you know import products from your wix online store or you know you can even download wix stores which is a professional platform where you can actually sell online so i'm going to click on add to site Okay, because I'm going to want to go ahead and uh, add products for myself. So I'm going to wait for this to load up. And here it says adding Wix stores. Once it comes to adding Wix stores from there, what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to get a general idea of working with this general idea of, uh, you know, messing around with this. So once the products are added, let me show you the different styles and the individual product um you know widgets that you get now because most people confuse the editing individually with um you know the aspect of working with the actual e-commerce products that they've drop shipped but i'm going to show you how you're going to do this so as you can see here's custom product pages that you can go to okay so let's say i'm going to click on preview and it's going to take me to preview page there we go let's say i'm going to go on this product over here right i have this product so i'm going to click on it and it's going to bring you here so i'm going to go back to the editor and once we go to back to the editor you can actually go ahead and edit all of this individually 
So we have the settings for the product page that uh, we can change here. It says customize page. So you have, uh, you know, different uh, layouts that you can go with. You have the spotlight layout. You have the classic. I'm going to go with the classic. Looks much better. It feels much better as well. Once you do that, you have your settings where you have, you know, product price, add to card and stuff. Then you have your texts where you can change your texts. You can also change the color of your texts. And then there's the design where you can change the background and borders. You can keep different colors. So let's say I'm going to change the background, the button size to a circular, as you can see. And yeah, that's the general idea that I'd like to go with. Now, again, in uh, the text section, you can actually change the color of the text and you can actually manage different products for yourself as well. Like you can add different products and add different aspects of it. Now, let's say we have this one product over here. I'm going to go back to my uh, product page, okay, or my shop page, at least. And uh, I'm going to go to any custom product page that I have, okay? So let's go over from here, from pages and menu to my let's go to store page uh, and let's go to my shop page there we go so there's my shop page now once i go over to my shop page what's going to happen from there is i'm going to get a general idea of how i'm going to navigate to other pages of my stores as well you also have your product pages which you can obviously alternatively add this stuff into you have your shop page where you can alternatively add this stuff into uh, I have my portfolio pages that I can individually go ahead and uh, edit. So here's another product page that we have. And to individually edit this, what you're going to do is you're going to individually come to this, choose your products, click on manage products. Once you click on manage products from there, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to go into your product section. Okay. And it's going to tell you to add certain products for yourself. Once you've added those, you can actually go into the settings. Once you go into the settings of your product page, you can click on customize page. Let's say I want to make this into a, yeah, let's go with stunning. Stunning looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go with that. Then you have the settings. Let's say I'm going to turn off the SKU or you can turn it on, but I'm going to turn it off. Then you have your text, change the text stylings. You can add different wishes list. I can even like change the background opacity if I want to. So this is how you can edit everything differently and individually for different product pages. And that's the general idea of it all. So if you enjoyed watching this video all the way till the end, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.